Hey guys, welcome to a gaming review with 88 Gaming. I'm Travis2888, and today's review, or this week's review, is Dust, an Elysian Tale. And the only reason I'm reviewing this is because it was a free game with uh, Games with Gold. I would never have played it otherwise. And actually, you know what? Very, very good. Very good game. Very interesting. Uh, you can see straight off graphically, uh, well, firstly, it's a side-scrolling game. You can't kind of explore around like that, so side-scrolling. Not a big fan of that sort of thing. However, visually, you can see it just looks amazing. It's all hand painted and uh, yeah, just awesome. Uh, I'm going to run to a random area and uh, we'll get cracking with some other stuff. Oh, gone the wrong way. <laughs> so, yeah, basically, the premise is you are a rabbit fox creature who can't remember his past and uh, you literally just spend the whole game running around trying to get your memories back and figure out who you are. Uh, at the beginning of the game you come across a sword that can talk and is kind of some kind of ancient being that helps you out and also Fidget who is the protector of the sword. A Nimbat apparently is what she is and uh, let's go to the Glen. Yeah, that'll do. Um, and the idea is you go through certain areas, you can see what I've just done there, you can teleport around with the main map and stuff, um, you can get teleport things. Now Nimbat Fidget there will come up with stuff like that little chest that just came up that tells me that there is treasure in this area somewhere. The uh, the main menus and stuff are very cool, very easily set up, so you've got a quick item slot, you can put health items in there, you your armour, augments are to improve your weaponry, uh, items and keys. You've got lots of random stuff here that you can do. Um, you've got rings on both hands and a pendant as well. The map is literally like this, so that's the block that I'm in at the moment. It's got a big circle on it, which means there's treasure. Um, got your quest list and stuff completed and notes and stuff like that. You've got materials for crafting and everything, which is pretty sweet. And then you've got your stats as well, which is pretty cool as well. So, yeah, I mean, the combat itself is, uh, again, pretty cool. Um, you've got kind of... Oh, wow, that didn't go well. Completely forgot that those guys explode. Probably heal myself up a little bit. Um, <laughs> that was a good start, wasn't it? Uh, so, yeah, basically, the combat system is pretty sweet. Um, there we go, get some cinnamon buns. You've got saving and teleporting things everywhere. Uh, so, if I can find some creatures that don't just explode when I go near them, uh, maybe I can show you some of the combat. Ah, oh, there's a key there. Okay. That's probably the treasure. Let's go have a look at the. Oh no! You can get combos and stuff. Uh, there's an achievement for a thousand hit combo. There's actually a quest for a thousand hit combo as well, uh, which I managed to do and then uh, kind of lost it by dying, getting blown up. And then, uh, yeah, that sucked a lot. Took a long time to get that, but. Um, wow, really? There's nothing to fight here. There's just explosive stuff. Alright, fine. Uh, okay, I've got all the treasure from this area anyway. I'm going to go to another area and hopefully find something to fight. So effectively you level up, you've got four key stats that you can uh, four key stats that you can fill. Um, there are challenge areas as you saw on the map there, there's the red areas there, challenge areas. Ah, here we go. So effectively you've just got your basic combos and stuff, you can also jump up in the air and do all sorts of combos like that. Now, um, if I find another group of monsters, I will show you some of the other cool things that you can do with this. Oh, stay important. Very good. Here we go. So, now Fidget has abilities that you can upgrade. So you go B, and then you can go You see? I can't remember what that's called. It's, uh, it's a specific move where you can just do that. Uh, if you hold it for too long, you end up hurting yourself. But you can also go like this. Fly around and stuff. However, combining it with Fidget's attacks is probably the best way of doing it. Because then... Uh, basically mess people up. So Fidget, at the moment I've got a lightning thing, I've got these things, which you can kind of fly around like that. Uh, I've got this, which does that. Um, yeah, so see it's got a lot of kind of Japanese-y RPG type elements to it. The uh, dialogue and stuff is, is, some of it is kind of cheesy and a bit cliche and stuff, but I think they've done that deliberately. 
Uh, a lot of the story and stuff like that is a real traditional Japanese RPG kind of story, which is pretty cool in itself. Um, yeah, it, overall, it's a really enjoyable game. I, I honestly would never have considered it. Uh, I think it's usually about a tenner. Um, I, I really would never have considered it as a game that I would play because I'm not a massive fan of Japanese RPGs and stuff. I know, heresy. Um, but it's it's been really enjoyable uh, and I've ended up playing it a fair bit. I mean, uh, I'm kind of almost 50% complete of the entire game. That's including all the uh, kind of side missions and everything like that as well. Um, each area you can go back to whenever you like with the with the world map system and stuff, which is really cool. So there are certain things you can't do. Um, you've got shops kind of dotted around. Um, there are certain things you can't do, so you have to go back and explore the areas again and stuff like that. But it works really, really well. I mean, I'm hoping that when you finish the game, you can uh, just kind of carry on playing and carry on exploring and stuff. Um, I mean, that's that's the hope anyway. Uh, where are we going? Let's keep going. But, I mean, aside from that... Oh, Jesus. Whoop. Okay, so for these guys, what you need to do is... Oh, man. Oh god. There you go. Counter strike. There we go. Uh, you need to kind of counter them uh, by holding the attack button at the right time. And then that, that does that kind of cool slow motion thing. Like that. And then you go up to them and go, and they die. So there's a, you know, the, the combat is fairly straightforward, but some of it is more difficult. Um, fighting certain things. These guys can silence you, which means that Fidget's abilities don't work. I still don't have claws. Jeez. That could have ended badly. Good thing I'm quick on the draw. Um, so yeah, that's it really. As you can see, the art style is amazing. The um, Like I say, the combat's fairly simplistic, but it's all about as to how high combos you can do. Uh, and fighting bosses and stuff, you really have to kind of use tactics and things. The majority of these fights are fairly straightforward, as you can see. Also, it's worth mentioning that this is a, an earlier area that I've gone into, um, so these guys are going to be pretty straightforward to kill. Um, I'll just quickly show you on here the stats. Basically, when you level up your... Where are we? There you are. When you level these up, you can only have them within, like, four of each other. So you can't kind of push your attack all the way up and have nothing else, which is kind of a nice touch as well. You literally just got health, attack, defense, and fidgets abilities, really. That's it. Uh, luck, I'm not really sure what luck does. I think that's to do with uh, like your loot drop rates and stuff like that. But, but yeah, if nothing else, um, it's, it's worth playing just because it looks really nice. Uh, and fans of Japanese RPGs and stuff will find that the whilst the story is kind of you know, it's quite generic and, and kind of um, not cliched and not cheesy, but just that kind of that almost almost those things. Uh, it does mean that you're probably going to enjoy it quite a lot. It's got a lot of stuff reminiscent of uh, old school games and stuff like that. So uh, obviously it depends on how it goes with the story. I mean, I haven't got that far with the actual main story. I mean, I kind of know who Dust is now. That's the main character. Uh, I kind of know who he is and what his history is, but it hasn't kind of all come out yet as to what's happened for him to lose his memory. But anyway, that's it. I'll leave you with that. That is a review of Dust and Elysian Tale. Overall, it's probably worth checking out if you get a chance, because like it's just it's just a pretty sweet game. To be fair, it's good good fun. Um, there we go. Sorry, just trying to get rid of these guys. Uh, it's pretty good fun. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's especially as it was a free one, if you managed to grab this, then good job. Jump on it and start playing it as soon as you can, because it's really enjoyable as a random sort of game you can just sit down and play. I don't think it's going to be that long as well, so you don't need to worry about investing hundreds and hundreds of hours into it. So that's it. Thanks for watching the video. Um, hope you enjoyed the uh, review of this one. Next week I'm going to be reviewing something else again. Every single week a new review on here, as well as a bunch of other stuff every single day being uploaded to the channel so check it out give a thumbs up if you enjoy the game or you like the video and uh, don't forget to subscribe for more in the future thank you very much take it easy guys